Hello, hello, hello. Welcome to my channel. If you are new here, please consider subscribing after you check out my video. You can also see what else I have to offer here. But yes, uh, we are here for the how do you find time to read book tag that was created by Working Man Reads. I love his channel. Uh, he cracks me up all the time and he's really cool. We chit chat back and forth in the comments. So yeah, I was happy to do this tag. He didn't tag me. But I commented and I was like, you know, I want to participate. He was like, go ahead, girl. He ain't say it like that. I'm saying it like that. <laughs> so anyway, here I am with my answer to this tag. But first, here's my intro. Okay, so question number one. Where is your favorite place to read? I actually did a tag, I think it was my booktube newbie tag, if so I will link it here, uh, where the question also asks where's your favorite place to read and at the time it was right here on this couch. But since then it is my bedroom. Uh, that's just where I get the most peace and quiet. <laughs> where I get to escape and not have distractions. So yes, in my bedroom, in my bed right now is my favorite place to read. Question number two. Do you read every day? Yes. How much I read every day is a different story. During the week, it is really difficult for me to squeeze in reading with working a full-time job. Um, that is enough in itself. So as I've said in other videos, reading really relaxes me. So a lot of times when I'm done with work, because I got up early, I start to read and I fall asleep. So the majority of my reading happens on the weekend. But uh, yes, I do squeeze in reading every single day. Question number three. Do you read out loud to any family members? Um, I try to read portions of my book out loud to my daughter and she doesn't usually want to hear it. So um, that's about the extent of that. <laughs> uh, sometimes I'm like trying to tell her about a book and I'm trying to tell her about a part in the book. And I'm like, it's just better if I read it to you because I don't want to try to summarize it and mess it up. So sometimes she indulges me and allows me to read parts to her. But most of the time, no, I just have to read to myself. Question number four, your favorite career for a main character to have and give an example. I so far love if the main character in a book is a professor or a psychologist, psychiatrist, one of those things. Uh, I discovered this recently with The Silent Patient. The main character in that book was a psychotherapist, I believe is what he was called. But anyway, I just loved, because I used to love psychology when I was in high school, so I loved getting into him analyzing people from the psychiatry, psychology perspective. And then with Kill Creek, I DNF'd that book, but I did love the character in there who was a professor and him teaching a class about horror movies. And oh, I just loved that. I just wish some of the other characters didn't mess it up because otherwise, oh, I was so here for it. So if you have any recommendations that are about psychiatrists or professors, thrillers and horrors, drop them in the comments. Question number five, do you read at work? <laughs> I wish. Uh, I have a job that I can't even talk or anything. Um, I am a subtitle editor, so it requires everything. I have to give 100% to listening to the movies and TV shows that I am checking the subtitles for. So no, I cannot read. Um, sometimes though, I will read on my lunch break, which I only take like a 30 minute lunch break, but I will squeeze in some reading then. But during work, I wish. I read for work. Subtitles, that counts. <laughs> and the last question, number six. Tell me what book you are going to read today. Also tag someone to do the tag. I am almost finished with the Babysitter by R.L. Stein, vintage horror. I did not read this as a child, so um, I am doing a theme for this month of February. I will put a link to my TBR video, but yeah, so I am uh, finishing up this book. And as far as a tag, if you are watching this, consider yourself tagged. I don't like singling out people, and also I don't, I don't sometimes don't think people will do it. So um, <laughs> anyway, if you just want to do it, jump on in. But yeah, I want to thank Working Man Reads for creating this tag. I thought it was so fun. His whole point was for people who are hardworking, 
you know, to just encourage more people to read and know that it doesn't matter. You can be working full time, two, three jobs. You can squeeze in reading. I am a single mom working a full time job and I'm making it happen doing YouTube and all that good stuff. So you can do it too. But anyway, I think that's enough of my mouth for this video. So <laughs> if you have enjoyed it again, please subscribe, hit the thumbs up. That helps me out with this YouTube algorithm helps my channel to be more successful. Also leaving comments helps my channel to be more successful. So leave a comment below. I do respond. And that is all until the next video. Take care of yourself. Snuggle up in your hideaway with a good book. Stay out of trouble. Unplug as much as possible. And I will see you the next time. Bye.